Hey, Casey Conley here with Two Tankards. Welcome back to this build series on the Queen Bee CNC. Today, this is video number six, which is gonna be installing the Acme lead screws through both of the Y rails, so stay tuned. The Acme screws are pretty simple to install. First, you slide one end of the Acme screw into the end plate on the Y axis. Then you slide on a bearing and then a locking collar. Then you slide the Acme screw all the way to the nut blocks on the carriage and start threading it through the blocks. It may take you a while to get the Acme screw all the way through the nut blocks, but just use both hands and rotate as fast as you can. On the other end, you first slide on a lock collar and then a bearing and run the Acme through the hole on the Y-axis end plate. Just rotate the screw until you have about 20 to 30 millimeters sticking out of the plate. After the Acme screw is protruding out of the end plate on the motor end of the Y-axis, you slide on a thrust bearing and then a locking collar. You will need at least 11 millimeters of Acme screw sticking out of the lock collar for installation of the motor coupling in a later video. If you have a set, use some digital calipers if you have one handy. It sure makes this step a lot easier. Once you have the proper distance on the Acme screw, ensure the thrust bearing and the regular bearing are seated in the end plate and tighten the lock collar. Now you can do the same to the other end, but disregard the length of the Acme screw sticking out. Just seat the bearings and tighten the lock collar. We will tension the Acme screw later in another video after we get the system running and have the holding power of the high torque motors to prevent rotation of the screw. And the last step in this video is to simply tighten the nut blocks on the Y plates. Go ahead and tighten them down tight at this point. All right, folks, that's it for the Acme screws. They're installed in both of the Y rails. Next, we're moving on to our X-axis assembly. which will include the plate, the X-axis rails, the bearings, as well as the hard backer and the 90-degree angle brackets on the ends. And as always, if you like my video series here, you like my content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.